Do topicals even work when you apply them on your knee? You've heard about pain patches. You've heard about creams. You've heard about all these salves and ointments. Is it a gimmick? Does it actually work? What's the science behind it? Let's talk about that. Certainly, we can get some over-the-counter things. Most commonly, I see people are using things like lidocaine or the lidocaine patch, lidocaine cream, lidocaine ointment or jelly. There are also other canes, such as a benzocaine or tetracaine. Think about if you are having an IV placed or your child has and somebody might put a little a white cream on the hand and then put a little patch over it and about 20 minutes later then it doesn't hurt so much for the little needle to go into the skin to start an IV. That is a topical anesthetic, local anesthetic, typically lidocaine. We can also look at topicals placed in a patch form so that you can put something on over the area that is going to heat the area or it can cool the area, kind of a soothing. The heated type of the topical patches are things that contain capsaicin or a chili pepper. And the cooler ones most likely contain things such as menthol or the mints, creams, peppermints, etc. Then we have things like CBD creams or ointments or gels. And they work on a different area, a different area in the brain. They actually tend to stimulate what's called the endocannabinoids. Our body has our own, so it's endogenous cannabinoids, and it's likely that through the skin it's absorbed, and that stimulates then the cannabinoids within the brain to release pain-relieving kind of receptors or activated, so pain-relieving properties. With regard to the topical lidocanes or benzocanes or tetracanes, they typically only penetrate about five millimeters. That's about half a centimeter. That's tight, right? They're 2.5 centimeters in an inch, so it's like a fifth of a centimeter, it's pretty skinny. So we don't typically think that, say you place something on your knee and you wanted to get it all the way down to the bone portion and you got this much space, it's less likely that that's going to get down into the bone for the osteoarthritis aspect if it's a topical local anesthetic. It may help if you've already had a surgery on your knee, such as a knee replacement surgery, and you've got pain at the scar because the scar is topical. So putting some numbing medicine in a patch or a cream over the scar may help. If we're talking about a capsaicin patch or a chili pepper patch, then that may actually go a little bit deeper than that five millimeters and it may warm the muscles around the area. You may get a little bit of a deeper relief. When we talk about the THC based or CBD based products that are stimulating your own or the endocannabinoids, then that certainly we don't have to talk about, oh, it, it only penetrates five millimeters or whatever. It just being over the area can stimulate the release of your own cannabinoids. And that's what we think works when we're talking about using the topical CBDs. In our practice, we use CBD, not THC based products so that we can treat our patients who do drug testing, our police officers, our military people, our athletes who are drug tested. And we find that if we use hemp based CBD products in the topical format, that it's not an issue. You're not going to get that absorption that's going to then positive on the test. So that's what we look at if we're talking about a topical therapy, a patch therapy, a cream therapy for knee pain. It may or may not work. You know, you need to find what's going to work best for you. And it depends on what's the issue. Do you have something that is a severe sprain or a fracture or something severe pain? These things are not likely to work at all. But if you have scar pain after a surgery, that may help with the topical local anesthetic. If you have a deeper pain from something like osteoarthritis, or a medial collateral ligament tear, a medial meniscus tear, lateral collateral, lateral meniscus, etc. then putting something more like a CBD cream or a capsaicin cream may help. What I find is people like that cooling aspect that is the menthol in some things. If they've got a hot joint or something that's not happy and it's more convenient to put something topical over the area rather than sitting around with an ice pack on your knee. 
Similarly, for people who like the warps, then the Icy Hot or the capsaicin-based creams in a patch or then you put that over your knee and then you can still get dressed and not have to sit there with a heat pack on your knee. So it's more for convenience as well. In general, it's variable on the response. In general, these are pretty benign things. It's hard to get anything over the counter where you could get a toxicity with the local anesthetics, but a prescription base, you've got to be careful. So do read the instructions before you apply any of these. If you'd like to learn more about your knee pain and how to treat your knee pain, please reach out to us at www.kneeboostnow.com. Please like, please subscribe. And I'd love to hear about what your knee pain means for you and what things you'd like to hear more about. Thank you. If you have knee pain and would like to learn more, I have a worksheet called five things to do now to reduce your knee pain within a week. Go to www.kneeboostnow.com to download it for free. I'd love to hear from you. So please like subscribe and comment below so I can help you get out of your knee pain.